All right, so we're getting ready to start with our next size petals. This is uh, the larger of the two medium petals, and we're also going to cut five of these. Um, if you want a fuller flower, like I said before, you can cut as many petals as you like. I, I find that after seven petals, it um, it just gets bulky and it's not it's not really adding much to it. So we're just going to go ahead and cut five today. Now these petals are a little different than the last couple that you that you did, and I'm going to have to roll that again to get the fifth one out. So we'll go ahead and put this away, and we'll just work on these. These are a little different because these are actually going to be wired petals. Um, we're not going to attach them directly to the base. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a technique called twiddling. Um, I learned this technique from the fantastic Diane Grunberg, and um, this is what she uses to make uh, her very beautiful realistic flowers. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a small ball of your gum paste, about the size of a pea, um, and one of your, your white uh, paper cover, color, covered wires. Um, if you look at what you want to do is you want to measure along the wire to the longest point of your petal and you want to stick your ball there right over that section. Don't worry if it's a little longer you can take it off later. So you just want to stick it on like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grip firmly and you're going to pinch now you don't want to pinch it so hard that you're feeling the wire, but you want to pinch and you want to roll your fingers back and forth as you pull your gum paste along the wire. And when you get to the end, the extra will come off and you're left with what looks like that. That is called your twiddle. And as Diane would say, you never want your twiddle to dry out because then it won't stick to your petals. So you got to move quickly from here. Go ahead and put that little P shape back. Take one of your petals move this so you can see a little better and you want to lay it on your vayner and go ahead and lay that wire all the way to the end of that petal down the center and then you just want to press and you want to make sure you get that really incorporated in there okay and it'll look like that and you can go ahead and peel it off and that way, instead of using either like a cell board or any of the other products, you don't have that thick um, center mark that you have to worry about um, your gum paste falling off. If there's any extra, just go ahead and pinch and kind of pull it off there, clean that edge up. And then you're going to basically follow what you did before. Go ahead and bring it on over here. Now, because these are wired, we are going to actually introduce a secondary color. Um, the wired petals have a tendency to sit out a little further from the center of the flower. Um, this is a good thing, it's what makes the flower look like it's blooming. But if you want a really natural looking flower, your petals aren't all one color. There's usually either a yellow or a green as you get down to the base. Now we haven't introduced that before because the petals were too close to see. We're going to go ahead and use, um, this is Linnea's um, moss green petal dust. And you're going to want to get uh, another brush. Um, this is just another soft brush from that makeup kit. Um, it's not quite as large as the first one because um, you're going to be using uh, it on a smaller area. So go ahead and take just a very small amount, very small. And you just want to lightly dust that edge um, moving up towards the center of the petal. And it's very faint. You don't want it to be overwhelming. It's just to more suggest the hint of green there. And so that's what that'll look like when it's done.